Good day. So uh, I will present uh, the solution made about uh, OpenPicus for a web control simulator. And also I will uh, demonstrate some uh, web services access through the Flyport uh, with Twitter, Namebit and ThinkSpeak. Uh, so the solution is uh, made out of uh, the solution, the, the OpenPicus board and Nest. Uh, that is uh, just uh, connected to my PC for the power setup. Inside that, we have a simulator that uh, is on this form with some uh, digits that are quite big that are presented on the browser here that uh, is connected to the flyport through the Wi Fi. Uh, the PICUS is also uh, containing something to avoid having external device at the moment, so I have put a simulator inside. Uh, and this simulator is also controlled through values that we can manage through the uh, web UI EC here. Uh, after, we, I have created also a few buttons on the UI, the web UI, to be able to send a current value of a simulator to either Tweet, ThinkSpeak, or Nimbits. And at the end, uh, in fact, all these values are sent to the web services and will be used for, for uh, graphing or for analyzing in the uh, data uh, sensor collection too. So I will, uh, so I close this now. Okay, so here I put on the, on the screen, uh, so the, the, the simulator, so at the moment it is active, you will see that it's changing, the value are changing here. So on the UI here, you have some uh, buttons like reset simulators. Reset simulator is just restarting from a value. Normally this value can be set also here for if I put 40. I put 40, I reset the temperature. And after I, I, I will set reset simulator, so it will start out of 40 and the next time it will run. Okay, so it's uh, stepping here in the simulator by nine. So it's uh, just for playing. Standby simulator is just stopping the progress of the value, so it will stabilize the value during a time. Okay. Resetting and restarting. Okay. After here, I have three buttons that I will expose you, and you will have the, the, the impact on each of these applications. So Twitter, in fact, will send a message that you will receive in the Twitter uh, window here. Okay. So here, in fact, uh, it's my last uh, trial, but I can do another, okay, here, so I send it. So you will see also on the web port card that uh, the LED is uh, uh, not displaying during this time. It's the time that is used for computing and sending the message out. So this can be last quite long. It's about 10 seconds. So I think that there is some optimization possible, but at the moment it's 10 seconds. So in between, it's better not to send probably a second message. So it's finished, normally it has been sent out. And it will be received here. If I refresh my Twitter page, should I? So I have a second value here, you see. So now I have my my Twitter received. So if I now uh, think speak it, so if I click here on think speak, so it will connect to think speak here. Think speak, uh, in fact, I created a few channels one is a uh, called uh, here we see the, des the description um, uh, here so i should have value coming in so probably it will display some time no it's not yet finished so it's why we don't see it okay So now if we refresh, refresh that, we should have the value. So here I have also another display for ThinkBit, is the list of the values. So if I refresh that, you will see, so there is a new value added, you see. Here is the data in, in a JSON format in XML, okay. And here normally I think I should have it as a graph. Is that visible? Ah, yes, it is here, excuse me. So, uh, in fact, uh, time float block is uh, just the value I put here. So it's a value with a time of arrival and the value itself, okay? So this is for ThingBeak. So ThingSpeak is uh, just uh, one services for making uh, different uh, services. And you have on the UI some different possibilities for graphing and uh, for, uh, uh, in 
fact, analyzing uh, all this. Okay, so you can investigate with things big, get in a account and create your own sensors there. So there is an alternative solution that is called NIMBITS. So NIMBITS is an alternative solution. So here the difference is that NIMBITS is also providing um, an XMTP uh, uh, protocol support to have uh, the uh, Google Talk connected directly. So if I send a message to NIMBIT here, okay, so it's processing. So you see the light that is half on the, on the board during this time. And now you receive here the, the refresh. So this one is really the last one, and uh, you receive also the beep indicating that uh, message has been received. So you have uh, here it was the first time, and here the second one. I, I created it. So the date of arrival. And here in that, you have seen the, so the value is 90, and you see that here in graph it's also 90. Okay. So here you can uh, have this value that is displayed. So if it lasts five minutes, for example, you will have a value here. Okay. So that's, uh, that's the demonstration. Uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed. So in this uh, demonstration, so I integrated the web server, that is the native one, some uh, simulation here display that I upgraded out of another project that was called Temperatura. Uh, was done, but it was limited because there was no negative sign. I put more digits, so now it's uh, more uh, complete. And uh, also, I put some control of the simulator with these buttons, possibility to send a tweet, ThinkSpeak, and NIMBIT. But also, I don't demonstrate it, but you can use ThinkBit to collect data out of web services with what, what is called HTTP, uh, a Thing HTTP. In fact, here you can create your own uh, web service call, and uh, you will request, for example, the temperature in your city, and you will receive a value itself directly by one. Uh, call to this uh, to this uh, web service, so it's quite easy to use. I hope that this is complete, and uh, I thank you for for your uh, time.